Hello, my name's Jackie and I'm part of the Visions Live team. I'll be sharing with you today an overview of our qualitative online research tools. Starting off with our online focus groups. Our focus groups run entirely within a web browser on any PC or laptop computer, so there is no software installation required. They will work on any browser such as Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome or Apple Safari. They will run on any operating system, Windows, Apple Mac or Linux. Quickly and easily create your new project, referencing your end client and giving it a suitable reference name. And then select the language. Select your project and create your activity within it. This may be a text chat focus group or perhaps an in-depth AV interview. Give each session a title to be seen by respondents and also for your internal reference. Again, giving a language of each session and a server location closest to your respondents, Europe, USA or Southeast Asia. Previously created templates within a project can be used to create additional sessions. Set the date, time and duration of your session and the size of the group you require between 10 to 30 respondents for text chat groups, 8 for an AV group. Remembering that the session start time will be shown in your own time zone. Next, add your participants, including respondents and observers individually or from Excel. You may want to include pseudonyms and profile information to assist in selecting for sessions or for your analysis later. Then select the moderators for the session. This might be one or more for a text chat session. A number of invitation types and styles can be added, covering invitation only, availability confirmation and SMS reminders. Once these parameters have been entered and reviewed, Completing the wizard will send out the invitation links to all who have been selected. Select the content button to add your discussion guide and any stimulus to the new session. Loading the discussion guide with any moderator instructions is a simple copy and paste exercise from a Word document or can be entered line by line. The stimulus is prepared simply by selecting the layout that will display the image best to the respondents and depending on whether you want them to annotate and collaborate on it. It's as easy as one, two, three. Step one, upload your image into the media library in the session. And by the way, videos can also be uploaded into this area in much the same way and played to respondents when required. Step two, select the preferred layout and then give your slide a name. Step 3. Load the required image into the slide. Resizing the images is simple without losing resolution. Just drag the corners to required size and lock the image to secure. If asking respondents to use any annotation tools, such as text or highlighter, you can enable the ones you will need using the toolkit at this stage. Single selection, multi-selection and agreement polls are a breeze to set up too. Now it's a simple matter of saving the template ready to make more identical sessions to invite respondents to. The respondents arrive into the virtual waiting room about 10 to 15 minutes before the schedules start. So a moderator can go in and check they are all present and correct and chat with them before the start either individually or globally. Then, at the start time of the session, invite them all in to start the discussion. Post your first question to the chat area with one click and acknowledge any moderator instructions again with same click. Slides or stimulus can equally be advanced with just one click. Probe respondents with unclear answers by ad hoc questions or add questions on the fly to the discussion guide if preferred. 
Note that comments and suggestions made by any client or guest observers invited to the session can be made unseen by respondents and then passed on by the moderator as a probe. Use the private question option to communicate with any respondent, observer or co-moderator in the session, as this will not be seen by others. Or eject any unruly or unhelpful respondents. You may want to collapse the observer box if not used or if you want more room for discussion. But any comments will still be flagged up if your observer wants to make a contribution. Videos or commercials can be played in the session room by the moderator for spontaneous feedback from respondents. When finished and respondents have been thanked, the session can be closed at the X by the moderator. Don't worry, this cannot be selected by mistake and the session will not close itself until requested by the moderator in case of any overrunning in the original length set for it. And in the back office, the transcripts will be waiting for your analysis when you are ready. Thank you for watching this demo. We hope you enjoyed it. Research performed using this online focus group platform has shown that respondents enjoy the experience. They are engaged throughout the entire session and problems with in-person focus groups such as Groupthink and the dominant respondent are virtually eliminated. Clients gain an amazing depth of insight with striking visual impact in no time at all and they enjoy watching the live groups as well. We look forward to welcoming you to a Visions Live online focus group soon.